The Last Bookbinder of Corvallis In the bustling city of Corvallis, where technology and digital screens dominated every aspect of life, there existed a small, seemingly inconspicuous shop at the end of a narrow cobblestone alley. The shop, known to but a few, was the last bastion of a dying art, bookbinding. Its keeper, an elderly man named Thaddeus, was the last bookbinder of Corvallis. Thaddeus's shop was a portal to the past, filled with shelves of leather-bound books, each crafted by hand with unparalleled skill and dedication. The scent of parchment and leather filled the air, a stark contrast to the sterile electronic world outside. Thaddeus believed in the magic of books, in the tactile joy of turning pages, and in stories bound not just by glue and thread, but by soul and heart. Despite the world's march towards the digital, there were those who sought the warmth of a real book. One such person was Ilara, a young woman disillusioned by the cold glow of screens. She stumbled upon Thaddeus's shop one rain-soaked evening, her curiosity piqued by the promise of a world she thought lost. Ilara became a frequent visitor, drawn to the shop's charm and Thaddeus's wisdom. Under his tutelage, she learned the art of bookbinding, discovering not just the craft, but the stories that breathed life into each tome. Thaddeus saw in Ilara a spark, a hope for the future of their craft. But the city of Corvallis was changing. A corporation, intent on expanding its digital empire, eyed the alley for its new headquarters. The shop's existence was threatened, its future as precarious as the craft it harbored. Together, Thaddeus and Alara devised a plan. They would create a book, not just any book, but a masterpiece that would encapsulate the essence of Corvallis, its history, its people, and the magic hidden in its corners. This book would be their testament, a beacon to rally the community and save the shop. The creation of the book was a journey that took them through the heart of Corvallis, collecting stories from its residents each chapter a tapestry woven from the city's soul. The book became a living symbol of resistance, a plea to preserve the tactile beauty of the world. As the day of the corporation's decision drew near, the book was unveiled to the city. It was a work of art bound in exquisite leather with pages filled with the vibrant essence of Corvallis. The community rallied, their voices united in a chorus that echoed through the city streets, reaching the ears of the corporation's board. Moved by the book's message and the community's passion, the corporation withdrew its plans, recognizing the value of preserving such a unique heritage. The shop was saved, and with it, the art of bookbinding found a new lease on life. Thaddeus's legacy, carried forth by Alara, became a symbol of the enduring power of books. Together, they proved that even in a digital age, there is a place for the warmth of stories bound by hand and heart. Thank you for listening and visit our channel for more short stories. If you like our content, please like and subscribe.